Hi, welcome to Cranbourne Golf Club again. My name's Mark All. I'm the golf professional here. This is the second part in our three-part series in terms of what our coaching philosophy is. The first part of what we talked about, uh, which we no doubt have already seen, is about the technique of the actual game. This part this will be more about the distance or accuracy control. So in terms of actually improving your golf, technique will take you so far but won't necessarily improve your handicap. From a technique point of view, so long as you can repeat technique and get the, the swing to work the same way, the next part of what you have to do is, is to be able to control what the ball does. So when you practice distance or accuracy control, what we require is we need a target, we need a distance, and we need a measurement. Something that you're trying to actually achieve. So in this case what we have is a, is a post in the ground. As you can see on the ground we have a 2 metre circle and a 4 metre circle. Depending on the standard of golf where you are and the, the distance you're hitting the golf shot, a certain number of shots need to finish inside the circles that you're, you're going for. Depending on the handicap level of the golfer we're teaching, we'll set different standards for them in terms of, of improvement. Now improvement itself, uh, you don't have to jump from say 3 out of 10 to 9 out of 10. Uh, improvement is like a ladder where you move from say 3 to 4. Once you can get 4 reasonably regularly then you would move to 5. So in terms of practicing distance or accuracy control, you need the target, the black post. You would need either a 2 or a 4 metre circle. We'll go back to 20 metres, 30 metres, 40 metres, whatever the distance is and then we'll set you a goal that you need to achieve. That might be 3 out of 10 balls inside a 2 metre circle. It might be 4 out of 10 inside a 4 metre circle. But you play from those positions, effectively trying to get more balls inside your target circle. Once you can achieve a certain result, you either make the target smaller, so you go from a 4 metre circle to a 2 metre circle, or you would go and increase the number of balls that have to get inside those circles. Effectively, once you can get to a certain level, we move you on to a different, uh, different distance. So you might go from 30 metres to 40 metres and then repeat the process. So in terms of um, how we see the game working, you need a certain degree of technique. You need the repeatability of the technique, but then you need to be able to practice either your distance control. So this is a chipping or pitching area. If we were using our full swing, we'd use our targets out there in terms of our flags. Uh, and once again, you would need to hit the ball between the two flags. So to improve your golf, you yes, you need to improve your technique, but so long as that is to a point where you can repeat it, then that's fantastic. But more importantly, you actually need to start practicing controlling how far the ball goes, be it on putting, be it in chipping, be it pitching, bunker play, or in terms of hitting a full shot. So at Cranbourne, when we actually do uh, lesson structures, not only do we work on your technique, but we definitely start working on your, uh, on your distance or accuracy control.